All right, so now we are going to add the load, but also have separation with it, getting to our stride, keeping the load in our back leg, because we gotta remember, even when we stride, we wanna keep this back leg engaged. We don't wanna come out of the back leg until our knee and our hip fires to swing. So this drill is really good to load into the back leg again, just like the step back drill, but we're not stepping back this time. We're gonna call it the knob the knee drill. So basically I'm taking this knob to my front knee. So I'm gonna get my normal setup on the plate. Nor, you know, ball, the, the ball's probably middle away, right off my front leg. I'm gonna get here and all I wanna do is I'm gonna get my back leg and take my knob and knee here. The more balanced you are, the more you're in your back leg. If you feel like you can't hold that and you're falling out of it, just like the step back drill, I want you to feel this. You're getting in your back leg, then we're gonna separate. When you hear the word separation, I always like to use the term, my hands and my front stride foot are walking away from each other. It's like stretching a rubber band. You hear terms like feel that stretch. That's true, I wanna stretch that rubber band. I don't wanna turn and stretch. Okay, that's where the, you're, you're already turned by engaging your back hip. I'm not gonna turn to feel that stretch with my shoulders. So therefore, I'm gonna go knob to knee and I'm gonna slowly ride out of that. You notice I'm still engaged in my back leg. I'm not gonna go like this. That's not getting separated. Even though my hands walked away from my front foot, that is not feeling the stretch I wanna feel. So when Trey gets ready to perform this drill, he's gonna get here, he's gonna go knob to knee, hold it for a second, Wow. So you notice I ride my front foot to my stride. I'm still on my back leg. Now I can fire. I have stability. Everything is in the proper hitting position. I feel that stretch and my separation and I'm ready to maximize my power through the baseball. So but I want you to take the knob all the way to the knee. So this is not creating a leg lift. This is just teaching getting you in a position to where we can teach you that stretch. You're not going to hit like this in the game. So load and then control. Yes. So you notice when he goes back, when the knob goes to the knee, he's engaging his back leg. Now he's riding the front foot out. His back leg is still engaged. He's in the hitting position. Now he's ready to fire. I can feel it in my hips. Yes. When we do that. And if you do these drills properly, your legs are going to get very tired. And you should. As a good hitter, when you train, your legs should get fatigued. So that, that shows you're maximizing your lower half. So now we're going to add the swing to the knob and knee. So therefore, we're going to load into our backside, do the knob and knee, get good separation and stretch. Then Trey's going to fire. Very good. As you notice, when Trey did this, the knob goes to the knee. And the reason why I like that over a small movement on this drill is to over-exaggerate when you come out of it, feeling that stretch when you stride and feeling that stretch in your backside here. So therefore, when you fire, you're getting maximum power out of that swing. Whenever I'm doing this, I'm feeling like in my stance, I'm feeling the weight back here. Like I, you could drop a rod down my back leg. Yes. So then we bring it up, we control, good work. So when we bring it up, we can control it, control all the way out, and then go. And don't roll over. He just came out of the swing a little yeah. bit. All right. So again, on all these drills, he's looking down, he's not pulling his head up. Good, he's keeping his eyes at contact point for as long as he can. He don't want to follow the base baseball. Too big. He got too big. Whew. All right, here we go. Good. 